welcome you back to my kitchen. So today's recipe, we're going to be doing a beef cacciatore, uh, which is kind of a spin on the chicken cacciatore. Um, nice hearty dish uh, with beef and a red sauce, and we're going to serve that over some noodles. So I want to thank all my returning viewers and subscribers uh, for all the support you get, give my channel. And to my new viewers, I want to say welcome. So let's grab our aprons, let's get our ingredients, and let's get started. For our beef cacciatore, we're going to need a chuck roast, olive oil, garlic, onions, bell pepper, mushrooms, beef broth, crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, sugar, fennel seed, Italian seasoning, thyme, and salt and pepper. So the first thing that we need to do is season up our chuck roast and I've got some kosher salt. So we're going to add some kosher salt to all of the roast and then we're also going to add in some crushed, some coarse black pepper. And we're going to press this into the meat and we're going to do this to both sides. So we've got us some oil heated up in a large Dutch oven over about a medium high heat. So to this, we are going to add in our roast. And then we are going to cover this with our garlic. I'm going to kind of spread it out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this sear on each side for about three minutes or so. All right, so we've got a nice sear on one side and we flip this over and we're going to let this go for another three minutes and then we're going to move this over to a crock pot. All right, so our roast has been seared on all sides for about three minutes. So to our crock pot, we're going to add our roast along with any juices. Get this out of the way. And to this, we are going to add in our crushed tomatoes. Our diced tomatoes. And we're going to add in about two and a half cups of beef broth. And we're going to add in our sugar, thyme, fennel, and Italian seasoning. And I add in some red pepper flakes. This is an option. You don't have to do it because I like my sauce to have a little bit of a bite. Give this a quick stir. And then to this, we are going to add in our mushrooms, which have been chopped up into chunks. Same thing with our bell pepper, and we quartered our onions and cut them into slices. So we're going to add this in, give this a quick stir, and wouldn't you know, we got to get the sticker off my bell pepper. But that's done. So now we're going to throw this on high and let this cook till the meat is fork tender. All right, so this has been going for a good five hours. So we're going to give this a quick check. Yeah, we are ready to go. It's already falling, falling apart. All right, so let me grab a bowl real quick. And I'm going to have this over some noodles. So, get me a 
nice chunk. It's a nice sauce. Okay, so we've got everything ready to go. We're going to give this a quick taste. And like I said, this meat is just literally falling apart. Mm. Oh yeah, it's a nice hearty meal. Yeah, this is going to be good. So, I'm hoping that everybody has enjoyed the video. As always, I want to thank all of my subscribers for the support that you give my channel. And to all my view new viewers, I want to say thank you and welcome to the channel. Um, new videos are posted weekly. And as always, enjoy cooking in the kitchen. And until next time, I'm going to finish this off.